Wednesday's big name day here lately on the channel. This might be a big name, at least I never heard of them until recently. Moore Brewing Company, who's heard of them? This is Little Space Booties, Double Dry Hop Session Pale. Ooh, intriguing. Cool can, let's find out what this is all about after the theme song. Hey, I'm back in the Midland studio as per usual. Nutmeg to Palmetto here to dish on all different types of tiles of craft beer. It's Big Name Wednesday. This one, it could be a big name. I had never heard of them until, well, by the time you see this, a few months ago. But, and by the time you see this, I will have had them at a festival as well. But, so this can, I'm, I saw this at a bottle shop down in Augusta when I went on a little bit of a rare beer find trek to procure some other stuff and I was like oh more I know what they were and I think maybe within a week and a half I hadn't heard of this name so now it was in my brain I'm like hmm well now I'm curious and I knew I was going to this festival so I was like I gotta I gotta see what this brewery is all about before I go to this festival so let me grab this I'm gonna try it right now I am trying it before the festival but you're seeing it after this so you won't tell that this is called little space booties it is described as a session pale however on untapped it's a new england pale so one of the two that's okay i don't know if i have a session playlist but i most definitely have a pale ale playlist and if pale ale is your things and is your thing and things of like a lighter type of alcohol consumption craft beer consumption work your way on down to the comments you will see a link pinned right at the top with a playlist for other pale ales I've had in the past. They're actually, I found these much more enjoyable in the last several months than the full on New England Imperial double IPA styles. These are a lot more, a lot less heavier, a lot more easier to digest. I've really enjoyed things of this nature, hazy pails and session pails, uh, session ales than the big, the, the, the big mock, the big box um, hazies because they just fill you up and get you bloated. They do, it's true. And these at least like have a little bit of lightness and effervescence to cut away from that. So anyway, this is called Little Space Booties. It's got a pretty cool can. Now more, it's funny, like if you didn't know what that were, what this was, what this brewery was, and you saw their name online, like in a list of breweries, which is what happened to me. I saw more, so I'm thinking like more like, oh, and more, like breweries, blah, 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 blah and more. Like I, like, I wouldn't think of that was a name, but sure enough, it's the name of a brewery. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, again, Little Space Booty is the name. It's a double dry hop session pail. Pretty cool little can. It's got their logo on a pair of little sneakers. And on the bottom of the can is Surface of the Moon. It is brewed and packaged by Moore Brewing Company in Huntley, Illinois, Villa Park, Illinois. Uh, and no other information other than the APV, APV, which is five and a half percent and hops, which are Citra and Galaxy. I do like some Galaxy. Uh, of course we have that little bit of, um, difference on untapped as far as what can it's put, what buckets it's, what bucket it's put in. A pretty solid representation of the check-ins though, 2,166, of which 1,990 are unique. 1,800, over 1,800 were ranked for a pretty respectable ranking, global ranking of 3.99. Uh, no IVs are listed, ABVs confirmed at five and a half, and they're just writing Session Pale Ale with Galaxy and Citra Hops, a baby version of our double dry hopped double space boost. Okay, so this actually, it's funny, I, it's funny I went off on my little tangent a minute ago. <laughs> about those big hazies being like harder to digest blow you up blah 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 i'm over yada 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 and this is actually 
a, a, just a lower a lower gravity sessionable version of one of those. Oops, there you go. Embarrassing myself, putting my foot in my mouth. Well, that's what happens when you read the when you read the blurbs live. Where do you do your research live, right? It is what it is. So, again, I like this style. I'm excited to try this brewery for the first time. So, why don't we not waste any more time and crack this open? As I've said before, these are a real nice alternative to those hazies, New England styles, double IPAs that blow you up. Because there's must be some kind of weird balance to a hazy that has a lesser gravity. The head is certainly no different. That's nice and nice and frothy, looking like a milkshake. Color. I'm seeing some shadow. That's just because of the light. I don't know what you guys, what y'all can see on your side. So the aroma, let's get the nose. It has that whatever hop. There goes that. There goes Poker Chip. Whatever hop has that ripe mango, ripe orange type of aroma, that's what this has. And this is, to reiterate, this has Galaxy and Citra. So it's got a very bright, 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 bright orange type of aroma. And I'm okay with that. So let's not waste any more time and take a sip. Oh. Right on. Now I will say, if you've been following my channel for a little while, you know I like my hate my pails, my hazy pails, to be a little bit more on that lighter side. More approachable, a little more juicy, not so strong on the dank. This is very, very strong from a mouthfeel hot perspective. It is, it's still fairly juicy though. From an overall profile standpoint, it's still pretty juicy. It's got a very, I don't want to say orange, but it's got a very citrusy type of not overbearing flavor. It's like, I, I, oh God, I don't, I really, I don't necessarily know. It, it's kind of like right in the middle. It's like if you took that orange and grapefruit flavor and you tried to mix them together and I didn't try to reset the dang poker chip. <laughs> if you tried to put that grapefruit and the orange together and you tried to make them one thing, and maybe with a little bit of peach, and maybe with a little bit of apricot. If you try to like mix them all together, that would kind of be what this is. It's not incredibly strong, but it's not really that soft. Like this is really, in total actuality, this is not that smooth, this is not that soft for a sessionable hazy or a pale ale, New England pale ale. Easy pale ale, whatever the actual term is. Like, it's something that is not gonna destroy you. So you could drink a few of them and be fine, but you would probably top out at three of these. Unless you're just an animal. You could just you could just be an absolute animal and just crush these things and chug them all day. That's that's also entirely possible. But this definitely has a little bit of a hot presence. It's not dank and it's not bitter. 
it, it's definitely got that juicy orange profile for sure without a doubt but it's got enough of a medium mouthfeel and body that you're probably not going to go more than too deep on this and maybe that's okay you know maybe when you go out whether it's a happy hour or you're meeting up with other beer friends or just your friends from random walks of life maybe that's okay maybe you're two and done you know because everyone's got to get home safe so maybe that's okay maybe like okay i had two of these i'm good i feel fine got a little bit of a buzz i can relax for a couple hours and i'll be okay that's probably what this is probably what you want this is probably what you want to sip on but it's it's kind of in that middle ground. It's not so crushable that you can pound a few of them while you're out, but it's not so heavy that you get through half the beer and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can finish this because it's so heavy and it's so bl and it's making me feel so bloated. So it's kind of in the middle. So real solid on that more, more brewing company. Um, it's kind of splitting the difference. And there is a place for that. There's a place for a middle ground type of beer that is not so crushable that you just that it's not something that you just want to throw them back and not think, but it's not something that's so heavy that you can completely ignore thinking about it and just keep throwing them back with no consequence. Because we don't want to do that. In any event, it's got a little bit of carbonation. If pale is your style, work your way on down in the comments. There will, the first one pinned will be a link to a playlist of all the pale ales I've done in the past on this channel. So if these are your thing and you want to go on a little bit of adventure of the other similar styles that I've reviewed on the channel, Click that link, work through them, enjoy yourself. There's quite a few, they're, they're, by this point, by, by the time this video drops, there's gonna be more than a few on there. If you like what you saw from me, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, know exactly when my videos drop. If you wanna recommend a beer to me, or maybe even send me a beer, or just chit chat, I'm all about talking and socializing, email me, nutmeg2palmetto at gmail.com. And if you want the rest of my day-to-day -day nonsense, follow me on my social media channels, TikTok and Instagram, at Nutmeg2Palmetto. <sighs> Was it quite what I was expecting? But still fairly light. And still fairly, and still very enjoyable. Cheers, folks. I'll see you next time.